if you are getting this error that is uh, system dot data dot sql client dot sql exception a network related or instance specific error occurred this is due to the problem sql server connection error or sql server not yet started so how to solve this problem so when you run the project uh, probably you will come across this particular error when you are using visual basic or c sharp or asp.net it is very common so this is because uh, it is not able to communicate with the corresponding database which you are using then how to solve this problem so first step is so what you have to do is you have to go to services so open services and search for sql server so depend on the which version sql server you are using so here you maybe have sql server management and sql server related activities here so see that they are running that is the first step you need to check it out second one so it may be a connection string problem so you need to check the connection string so in order to check the connection string you can see that there is a connection string here so this connection string a little bit old compared to the present version we are using so first what you have to do is you go to view menu and go to server explorer here is the data connections you connect your database here so add connection then browse then where is your database select the database here you are using the dot mdf click ok right now you can see that there are no errors and is connected now so here probably the connection string is the major problem so need to get the connection string you just go to properties you select the database here and then uh, go to properties in a properties you can see there is a connection string you copy the complete connection string and then you can come back over here and paste it so here you need to make some changes here ok data source you put double quotes here and uh, here is the path actually so we let me take it to the path and here is one more double quote let me take it out and at the end we will put the double quotes so now what are the connection string we define we will going to replace this with the existing connection string now this data source we don't want so let me place this here this is a new connection string and here you need to put the data directory the data directory is a, a global environment variable so this automatically identify the path to this particular database so in this case uh, we are using the database and that is located inside the bin folder and debug folder so here is the database so you should come to this particular path so therefore if you use data directory so we will take to straight away to that particular path otherwise uh, you will have a path here so this is the hard coded path so, so you can see here so d drive so all complete path is available so instead of path we can use the data directory it automatically take to that particular path fine now let us run this and uh, i'll just go to any of this form now you can see that it's working fine i don't have any problem so therefore you need to check first services so the services are running or not and then you check your uh, database connect connection and uh, particularly connection string anyway small changes definitely leads to some errors therefore you first connect to the database connections here and take the connection string from the property and then paste it over there so i think it will solve the problem